Firstly, really tough, and I know the emotion of the end of the match and all that stuff. Really tough game, as we expected for us. Um, after the last defeat that we we got um, against Brentford at home, the harsh, harsh result for us. Of course, we wanted to react. Probably many people um, they talk that this place is not the best place to show a reaction. We our idea was completely different. Probably the, it was the best. It's going to be the best place for us to show a reaction. Of course, great respect for Arsenal. In my opinion, they are going to be even stronger than last season. The quality that they had for their squad is impressive, and I I have to, to say that they are going to be clear contenders again because the quality, the manager, and all that stuff they have. But uh, of course, leading the score really early with the, that pressure moment from ourselves that we took advantage from the, the bad pass was really good for us. I cannot hide to you. The quality of Arsenal push us back. Um, we showed the, the, the organization in some moments, probably too low on the pitch. I would like to see even a bit higher, but I have to, to give credit for, for them and for the crowd. The way they were losing the game, the way they support the home team was impressive. Okay, I have to mention as well our fans in that corner. Um, what we missed more in the first half, because they didn't create many, many chances, but we missed more was to have more, more, more the ball. Because if you are always running back to the ball in, in physical point of view, it's really tough and was a tough game for us because we ran too much back to the ball and moments after that we, we have the ball, we cannot breathe because we are tired. And this is the main thing that we we want to improve and we are going to improve with more time to, to work definitely. Uh, we, the first, the end of the first half was tough. I think we, we started better the second half and better our first pressure and all, all that stuff. Arsenal was not creating many the, before the penalty. Of course, they changed. They, they put more quality in with the two, two changes they, ma they made with Shevchenko to give more quality in their build-up. Um, and they won the penalty and the game, the, the game changed completely in, in, in that moment. They scored really quick the 2-1 the, the in a moment that has to be fall in Calvin Bassi. Uh, Mkhitaryan pulled his arm and the, if the referee gave the fall that, uh, like he should, he, he should do, the game stopped in that moment and the, the second goal in that moment at least didn't didn't come for sure, and the, grab, the referee didn't, didn't so see in that, in, in that way, and of course um, penalized us in that, in that situation. And of course after came the, the red card for Calvin and create a, a big, big problem for us. After that moment, we, we showed really the, the resilience and the, the ambition, and I have to say the quality in some moments as well, to keep working hard to try to get the result that I believe we deserve. And, and all the credits for the players because it's not easy after consider to one start to play with ten men again is the second time second second game in a row that we play with ten men last probably thirty minutes I don't know how much it was how long it was today but we showed that and of course after they equalized the game we showed the resilience the braveness and the, the organization with five at the back uh, five three one to to defend our box and we we did it of course we had that chance from Adam the last moments of the game, but uh, we showed the resilience and the, the organisation to defend well our box. Marco, it's no secret that João Palhinha is important, but was today a good example of just how important he is to you and how crucial he is to this team? Yes, not just him, but he's one of the, the, the key players for us. He was last season. That was the reason why I I did everything to sign him. And, and that was one of the reasons why the club did everything last <coughs> Last month to keep him. This is the. the he's always that that situation. He's not in his best. Just the first game that he started this season. Unfortunately for us, like all the other players, um, like Tosin, like Tim and um, William and Andres Pereira, they lost almost all preseason. Like we are in the competition at the same time. We are giving minutes for the players. First time that he started, I, I felt him. End of the first half, really tired. Um, some moments at the beginning of the second half too, of course. It was a good moment when we push him back because at least the central defender is, is different. He can save more energy there and he, he did it well. And you know, it's, it's important for many, in many ways that you play, the way you want to build, the way you want to be aggressive in our, in our pressure as well. Even sometimes when you have to change, like today, we, we got a head card from a, a central defender and if I decided I don't need to change, I don't need to put a central defender there because he's able to, to come back and to be a central defender. Even when he changed for, for five at the back, he was playing as a central defender as well. In many aspects, he's a key player for us, definitely. Nick Keller. You're talking about the red card, and Mikel had a yellow card, you had a yellow card. Do you find it difficult to adapt to the new regulations of the season? 
yes, it's, it's really difficult to, to adapt, not just for us, I think it's difficult for the referees, it's <coughs> really difficult for the players, the guidelines are there, sometimes the consistent you cannot see there, and this is a, a problem, it's going to be a problem if, if, if continuing this way, of course, about myself, of course I, I have to, to adjust, probably the best way to adjust is to be always sitting on the bench, I have to tell you that it's almost impossible for me there, because I, I think my my players, they need me there on the touchline. Um, it's important for me to be on the touchline, but if it's going to be the only solution I have to be, because I want to be on the bench, I don't want to be on the, on, on the stand as well, it's, it's almost because you cannot take the emotion for the people that are on the bench. You have to behave, and if, if I do something wrong, believe me, and I do, sometimes I, I do as well, of course, I'm the first one to criticize, criticize myself, I'm the first one to blame myself, and I want to improve, but you cannot take. First, the personality you cannot take from me, and the emotion is almost impossible to take from a manager, from a player. And you see, if the consist is not there, if you see the, the, the first yellow card for, for Calvin Bassi, it's easy. Ben gave the ball for him, it took five seconds to start the goal kick, and the referee came gave the yellow card. First yellow card for him. And after he has to do a fall, he's out of the game, and you play with Tenma. And where is the consistent? If you see the first throw in, close the touch line for a part of a year, because we were blocking the solutions, probably took more than 50 seconds to take that. that to take that throw in and not yellow card. And where is the consistent these type of situations? How we can create in the training sessions because you try for our players to be more adapted for the circumstances if you don't see the consistency there. Because if not, it's going, I think, two weeks um, in Premier League, already seven, eight, eight head cards. <laughs> it would be almost impossible if continuing this way.